What is up my dudes, it's Pac-Man here and welcome back to another episode of Aw6 Analysis. Today we're going to be looking at a Plat 3 on console. So I know in the first episode I said that I wasn't going to, I was only going to be looking at players from Golden Below. I've kind of changed my, my, my mind on that a little bit, especially when it comes to console. Uh, just because like, I feel like I can I can still help out, um, you know, I, I've played at a higher level than Plat 2, you know, and I've, I've played competitively and stuff. So I feel like there'll still be things that I can um, at least notice and uh, give you advice on. So we might start seeing a bit more, um, a few more Platinums on the channel. But we're on console today. I'm actually really excited to see what console is like, what the, what the, um, the quality of it is like, right? Uh, but really quickly before we jump in. I just wanted to say um, the basically the responses for the submissions for O6 analysis to have your gameplay on the channel um, have been through the roof, like way more than we were anticipating. Like there's over 500 submissions at the moment. So um, the only way to kind of keep it fair, in my opinion, is uh, to just pick it random um, because I don't want to show favoritism. A few, guys, a few of you guys have reached out and offered to, to pay to get your, um, your video reviewed, uh, but I don't really want to do that. I do this for the fun. Um, so I don't really want to start like, you know, adding, adding a charge to service or anything like that. So I'm going to keep keep going the way it's going. No option to buy right now. Uh, but if you, um, the, the new the new kind of requirements to get into the video or to, to have a chance at um, getting your, your video selected is you're going to have to still submit to the form in the description, but you also have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to like each and every, every video and uh, comment down below. So um, obviously I can't track if, you're, if you, if you um, comment on the video, sorry, if you like the video, but I will be looking back through um, comments, but liking the video just helps the YouTube algorithm anyway. So um, yeah, the, the growth's been crazy at the moment. So let's, uh, let's keep that gravy train rolling. Um, but without, uh, yeah, so just, you know, if you want to do it, submit the form, uh, like the video, drop a comment and make sure you subbed. Um, but yeah, without wasting any more time, let's let's get straight into it. So starting off, we have DNN Zat. That's who we're uh, that's who we're coaching. What's up, my man? Um, currently playing at Plat 3, has been at Plat 3 for a few, uh, few seasons. Just can't seem to make it to Plat 2 or... Um, at least stay in plat two. Um, so hopefully we can give you the information that you need to, to step it up another level, bro. Hopefully. So the first thing you'll notice is that uh, your display settings are, um, you've got your textures and stuff on high. It's not an issue for frames because I'm pretty sure console will always get 60 frames, I think. Um, but uh, more so in, in terms of visibility, it's a little bit harder to see unless you, um, yeah, when it's on like really good uh, settings like this, like really nice settings, it looks nicer, but not as, uh, not as easy to watch, not as easy to see, less uh, less visibility. So consider um, dropping down those settings. I, I made a video on it as well. I can drop the link in the description. So we're droning. First thing that you'll notice is that there's no real roam clear. You're choking. Oh, that sucks. That's unfortunate. What? I have a bandit on the stairs. No real roam clear. He's gonna try and imagine gonna spray down the bandit. Gonna go take the fight. Push from the back, yeah. That's kind of the problem with not doing a full blast of roam, queue, uh, ro uh, roam clear. I know you're solo queue. You mentioned that um, in the video, but without um, fully roam clearing, um, or at least just clearing pretty thoroughly the part of the map that you're gonna push, um, that can happen, right? You just, there's no way to know unless you drone. So yeah, you've still got, you know, there's a minute and 40 seconds left in the round still. Like, so you've, you've plenty of time to, you know, spend that extra 30 to 45 seconds droning a little bit more thoroughly and you'll stop yourself dying like that. So that's the the other thing is that um, I won't really be able to kind of comment on mechanics so much just because like you know you're using a controller and I don't know mechanics the mechanical skill level of the different ranks um, on PC I do just not on console so um but it, it did look there that you um yeah struggled on that Ella you were kind of shooting her around the legs and and stomach it's obviously got to be going for them headshots brother so draining. So I don't love this. Just throwing the drone in sight. Just kind of asking for it to get shot. You should definitely watch the YouTuber that I'm sending this There it goes. It's just a waste of a drone, bro. Because, like, this is me. Uh, it's Pac-Man Down Under, I think. You're goddamn right it is, sir. <laughs> no jokes. Thanks for the plug, bro. This is the reason why I started solo queuing again. That's nice to hear. Solo queue can be good. Can be really good to work on your individual skill. And that's a good mindset. Improvement, not rank. The rank will come with time. It's all about getting better. Alright. 
definitely taking damage there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's a nice way to waste 25 HP. 26. Still no droning, again, which is a bit worrying. You spent the first 40 seconds of the round. I know you're approaching in on site, but a little droning and not a lot of cohesion with the, the rest of the team. Bit of pre-firing. Mm. So I'm glad you noticed that. That's a good sign because, like, like you said there, like I was trying to say there, is there was no, there's no cohesion. You're kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't really know what you're trying to do. Whereas you're in a much more effective position from here. But still, no droning. You need to be droning sight um, in these situations. You know, again, it can work in these ranks. But everything that I'll talk about will be how to, you know, how to really push through. Because you know, if you're just playing all right in your current rank. Um, you know, that's why you're not able to rank up because once you come up against stronger players, you'll be punished for different things like this. So you really you really should be droning, my dude. Just in general. It's gonna help you out significantly. It's grid lock. So I would probably be of the notion to put one of your grid locks um for for the flank. But that's up to you. I miss my shots, I'm so bad. Uh, that's a choke shot. Holding the angle. Nice. The bandit didn't know where he was. <laughs> nice shot. That's better. I think um, the enemy team has uh, the they have the reinf they've reinforced um, the white stairs rotate. Whereas that's that's a big mistake because it really opens you up to that specific plan. You always want that that wall there. See that it was reinforced. Let me just go back to show you. This wall right here. So this wall don't reinforce that wall. Like obviously this isn't you that's done, but just for the general um, public <laughs> or for everyone in the chat, you never want to reinforce that wall because look where that bomb was planted right in beside the reinforcement, and you only have to kind of cover that one angle really. You know, like so you definitely don't want to have this. You want it open. You want to rotate to white stairs. So just a little top tip. So once again, just throw in your drone in sight. Not much care for it. Not only did it get shot, but it actually got taken by Muzzy. So just, it's not worth it, but at the start of your rounds, you should be, um, you should be, you should be making sure that your drone's surviving prep phase every time, like as much as you can anyway. You don't, there's no need to run in there and ping everyone. Keep your drone. And again, I don't mind that gridlock, but again, a pretty obvious and clear initial um, lack of droning. So there's no roam clear whatsoever. I'm not saying that job falls directly on you and totally on you. It's a missed shot, missed opportunity. You never want to turn your back as well to an open breach as best you can. Yeah, there's no roam clear. And it looks like the they're punishing you for it. You have to be clearing roaming, uh, roam clearing at the beginning of the round. Otherwise, you'll just get slapped. You get punished. Ooh. Be careful with your leans, bro. A few times there. Let's have a quick, uh, quick rewatch of that. Really quick. See, see, you're shooting, and then your 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 body's still exposed, but then you're um you're leaning the other way and you're just shooting the door. So be careful with spamming the the lean buttons as you shoot. Um. I know that you're trying to get in and out, but just lean into the shot. That's a better shot. Lean into the shot. Quick peek into it, but don't, don't, uh, yeah. You're just shooting the wall because you're leaning too much. 2v2 though, pulled it back. Nice. Ooh. Well done. That's a pretty uh, prime example of how not to play a, um, how not to play around just there as the defenders. People lose their mind, man. It comes into a 2v5, they lose their mind. They run it, yeah. So we had the Valk run. I don't even know what was going on with the sledge over there. He got two frags as well, but you had the Valk that ran directly. I think it was a Valk ran directly into garage. Um, you had the the Mozzie who jumped out the window and down by Claymore, and um, then you had uh, the Bandit push you in classroom. Like you know, that's just a prime example of what not to do when you when you've got a lead. It's how you lose them. It's how you lose leads. You know, you might go on to win this game, and that could be the difference. <laughs> 
So, you know, teams, just for a tip for everybody, don't lose your mind when you're um, in a positive position. <laughs> All right, so we're on defense now. Let's have a look. So our main tips for attack there is drone, 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 and then drone a little bit more. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's just a lack of droning, a lack of roam clearing. Um, and again, things that you'll get away at this rank, um, you won't get away in, strong, in better ranks. So I would always be of the notion to start playing like you're already in the higher rank um, so that when you actually come up against better players, uh, you'll, you'll, be, you'll have a better chance, you know? So we're electrifying off Attic. I was sitting on top of the, um, the foosball table. So another little tip, um, not really a tip, it depends on how you want to set up the site, but if you're playing someone in Attic, if someone's playing in Attic, um, it might not be the worst idea to actually open up that rotate into dorms directly onto site, um, because it just gives them gives you another way to rotate if it comes to late round. So late round situations, um, you know, where if they're going for a classroom plant or whatever, and they're just holding off that one door, um, from like master from yeah from like the the hallway if they're holding off that one door you can just rotate through um into into dorms so if you're playing an attic never do that if you're not playing someone in attic I, I would be of the notion anyway you don't have to it's just a thought all right so we've dropped it shoot the drones bruh gotta be shooting them drones dude there was another one obviously you can't chase it because that window's open there's someone out there don't love this. Shouldn't be peeking this window. Will you get punished for it? You don't want to do that, dude. Like, it's your job to watch Attic right now, right? So Attic is a super important part of the map to hold. You've got a frost mat there. Um, play the sound cue. Don't overexpose yourself. You know? You're just holding a, an, an off angle. And you get punished for it. You've got to be careful with that, bro. Your life is more important uh, because now Attic's open right it's open and free they they could jump into attic if they drone it and see the frost mat jump in and just shoot it out like so they yeah it's kind of the, the snowball that starts to not necessarily saying that's it, that's your fault that everyone else died but sometimes a kill like that can be the snowball effect you know that can be the start of it um yeah that's 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 a that's a problem you don't want to you definitely don't want to be over peaking and over committing um when when it's your job to be holding but uh when it's your job to be holding attic right Play a little bit more passively, a little bit further back. You've got the frost mat to play off. Um, play the sound cue, wait for the vault, right? And then peek out, take the shot, get the kill, stay in attic, right? Because you're holding that down, it's your area. All right, same site. Let's see uh, Let's see if we can do this a little bit better. So it doesn't look like you're going to be playing attic. You've decided against it. I don't really agree with that. I think um, the setup you had there was fine, maybe just with an ADS to stop nades. Um, but the setup there was fine. Uh, and Attic's an important part to hold, but it looks like the mute's the mute's gonna be locking it down, so that's chill. Or not. So don't love this position. Same thing. Same you you probably I hope you don't make the same mistake again. Obviously you haven't heard the, the feedback um, yet from the video, you haven't seen the video, but things like that, dude. That's gonna be costing you rounds, I guarantee it. Alright, they didn't get punished for it there, but you burnt through a nitro cell. No, that's not an issue, you know, you gotta go for it. The nitro cells are there to be used. Um, but, you know, you're, you're over, over committing. Over committing, you don't need to be um, picking a window like that. And I, I don't mean to be that guy where I'm like, I don't mean to be saying like, be scared, you know, don't peek, just sit in a corner and don't, don't peek. Um, but it's true, like people say don't peek, you always get teammates saying don't peek bro, don't peek. Um, and it's true because in the end of the day your life is so much more valuable um, than you know peeking out to maybe get a kill. Like um, at the end of the day you're giving the, 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 the offense um, you know, an opportunity to kill you and take that positioning, right? Um, oh, that's some, that's some mechanical misses, there's another drone, I think. See this is better, right? This is what I was trying to talk about there before. Like, by you don't have to peek the window. Just um, just hold an angle and wait for the vault. Play the vault sound. Play the play the sound cue. You could even you don't even have to actually be holding the angle. But your crosshair placement. Um, like look at that. You've, this this where you've got it now. That's that's better, right? Because if you look before this, I spoke about this during my um my last common mistakes video. Um, sometimes when players are thinking, uh, they don't realize that the crosshair just isn't looking at anything you know what i mean like it's not it's basically 
non-existent. Like that's not, you're not aiming at the, the vault height. You're not aiming at the window. You're just aiming at the plank. You're aiming so that if he jumps in, you'll start to shoot his knees. Obviously you can um, adjust upwards, but it's just easier not to. Just have your crosshair placed at where they're gonna be. So keep an eye on that. It's, I know it's a console thing um, because I, I had, that was one of the biggest things I struggled with when I moved from console to PC, which was only um, only about a year ago. Uh, no, it was about six months before I started playing Siege. Um, so one of the biggest things that I struggled with was um, pre uh, uh, crosshair placement because on console I always used to just run around staring at the floor. It wasn't you know mechanics aren't overly important um, on console. That's that's not true. But I mean, like yeah, it's just one of those things. It, maybe it's maybe it was just something that I struggled with, and it looks like you struggle with too. So be be, be cautious. Like again, you're just looking at the the wall. You know, just look at where your crosshair is at all times. Always be aware of it. It's gonna get you more kills, dude. So 40 seconds left. The attackers are not playing this round very well. It doesn't look like they've got anything in plan. I think they're all just holding angles for now. But you're playing this better. This is smarter, right? So you, you, you're valuing your life more. Don't forget that your, your life is super duper important. Missing them, missing them drones. What is your problem with not shooting drones, bro? Just shoot the drone. Nice, sh nice shot. <laughs> Just take the drones out, bro. It's hilarious. Nice shot, though, on the thermite. It's better. But that's well played because you were there to fight another day, right? And that it could have easily been the same way that happened with the um, that round that you did lose. Um, but you overcommitted to the angle, right? You gave the um, attackers the opportunity to take you down. Um, and yeah, that, that ultimately led to your death and losing the round. So that that was a better way to play it. Value your life more. Wait for the vault. You know, don't overcommit. You nearly overcommitted at the start of the round. So, but you obviously, um, yeah, you're, you're learning as we, as we go. Or you learn from your initial mistake, um, at least in attic. Uh, but and you see how that played out, right? Then you were able to uh, turn the corner and take out the thermite. Granted, the attacking team didn't really do a whole lot there. They seemed to be, um, yeah, a little bit all over the place. Um, but it's, uh, it proves my point. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so we're on a bit of cheeky basement. We got the Grismont bottom white. We've got Rio's done for um for freezer or bottom white, whatever you call it. So I've noticed as well that you're using all three Grismonts. I usually like to keep one as a situational Grismont. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. I'm not not, not entirely sure there. Like I'm that's how I play Ella. I always keep one with me to have it as like a situational thing, if that makes sense. So I can chuck it out and use it when it's most needed and gonna be most effective. Um, I would, however, though, use my um, use my Grismonts to to help assist me personally, work off the information for me personally. So if you're roaming off site, I would take my Grismonts off site. Plus, I'm pretty sure Ella has a deployable shield, so you should definitely be running that. Deployable shields are, um, are pretty OP at the moment. Oh, hell no. They drank the hell out of me. They already hit my Grismont, they may be rushing. Yeah, definitely blue bar. Not blue bar. Yeah, see what I mean? So you, your Grismont got triggered, but you're nowhere there near enough, near, like, um, able to actually act on that information. Right, so the information's got, but it's to no avail. It's no use to you, right? Especially because you're not even using, you're not even talking to these guys. So that Grisma goes off, no one knows where it is. Um, it's relatively pointless. Thank you, RJ. RJ, I found a new place for us to live. Just <laughs> having a little conversation. So again, shoot the drone, bro. Oh my god. Same thing, Grismont goes off. What is your problem with not shooting drones? Drones are so important, shoot them <laughs> when you get the chance. And again, look at, look at, let's have a quick look at this. So again, let's have a look at the crosshair placement just so you, I can help you understand. Let's look at where you're aiming right now. You know what I mean? You're turning the corner, but you're aiming at the floor. You're not ready for, for someone to actually be there, if that makes sense. You'll, you'll find yourself winning much more gunfights if you actually um, aim correctly or pre-aim pre your crosshair. So I like this, I've spoke about this before, when roaming, if there's no action coming towards you, then get back um, to where the action is, right? So hopefully you can um, you can actually assist in your team. Don't like this, I would have preferred you to actually go back onto site, or maybe you're going for a, for a flank, that's fine. But again, 2v4 time is running out and there's no one on site. Nice, nice kill, but again, it's too late. By the time you got that kill, your whole team was dead, and um, there's still a minute left. 
Hatch drop, send it for the boys. Oh, I would have kept going. I would have kept pushing, personally. What is that Thermite doing? That's unfortunate. Didn't check the corner correctly. I'm lucky. Um, <clears throat> what was that Thermite doing? Why did he just blow that up? That's absolutely pointless. They're already on site. Just be cautious with where you're aiming. Same thing. Cautious with your with where you're aiming, and um and when when roaming, that roam wasn't bad at all. I'm not saying it was, um, but just make sure you're not getting skipped over. I talk about this. It's almost a thing for every everybody, um, that everyone that plays, that everyone has a little hint of it. But just make sure by the time you kind of got involved and actually got into a gunfight, your entire team was dead. So that's sort of a you problem, right? It's sort of a thing that you have to think. Well, where was I? Was I actually helping the defense, or did they just push sight, right? And I know you're a roamer. It's not really um just for you, but you're not causing any difficulty for the team right you didn't didn't really do anything aside from kill that maverick um, but at that point it was too late all right so we're back on second floor overtime same sort of setup you're playing the bandit good idea bandit was um seemed to be working pretty well let's see how we uh how we decide to play this so top tip for anyone that doesn't know if um if they don't bring, if you don't bring a thatcher if thatcher's banned you can obviously you can get those um those bandits from below right on both both bandits so the ones in um the ones directly above classroom right there um in electrical or i can't remember my call out recognition is so bad i really need to work on that um i used to know it all but now like i just feel like i've I've lost so much callouts. I know what I'm talking about. And I know the layouts, obviously, of every map, but just the specific callouts. I really need to do something about that. But you can get them both from below and even the ones from Attic, right? So just top tip if you ever find yourself without a thermite. So we're deciding to play by a big window this time. That's cool. I can see that you don't um, you don't love doing the same thing over and over. Um, looks like you, you like to keep it fresh. But um, a little bit of an issue because there's no one in Attic right now, All right? And that was kind of your job. That was what you were previously doing. So if the enemy team um, gets wind of that and they try to expose that, you know, should you have been in Attic. But someone has to watch Big Window as well. So I'm not saying playing here is wrong. But there's just no communication on the team. And I think that is because I'm pretty sure with console you get um, everyone's in party chat, right? So you're not going to be, there's not going to be as much game chat or it's not as easy to just talk in game. All right, I like this. You're not over committing um, heavily to the to the window peak. You don't need to. You know someone's probably there. You don't need to see that with your eyes. You can you know you can hear him shooting. So now that that that's this is it again. Don't need to over peak because you're gonna put yourself. You're gonna you're you're gonna leave your your team with a hole that they need to fill. So it's just not necessary, bro. Overly. And again, I'm not saying just don't peek anything, but try quick peek out, just take a shot, and then just chill back. Don't over peek, like get your whole body out there, and um, yeah, and chill out. We're in a 4v2, it's working out, but just be cautious of that, bro. Because um, like I said, that will get punished um, uh, in the, the higher up you get. You gotta be careful as well, can you? I'm pretty sure you can see, yeah, you can see that from the big window if you're at the right angle. He, he just shot at you. <laughs> so this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, you're in a 3v2, don't need to be getting this aggressive. Completely unnecessary. Like you're just exposing yourself for no reason. Play time. There's only 40 seconds left. Like, you know, the Thermite gets... That's another overpeak there. The Thermite gets a kill. Now it's a 2v2. It's gone from a 4v2 to a 2v2. The same thing that you did, that you won because of when you won that 5v2, you're kind of doing, right? You're overpeaking, overcommitting. Like, and it works out. That's a nice angle. He probably wasn't expecting another person to sit there. Um, but, and they're going to have to push at some point. But again, the higher up you get, the more you're going to get punished for that, bro. Like, you, you do need to be cautious of... Um, of just just play your time. Play time and let the, let the attackers make the move. Let them have to approach on you, right? You're on defense. You don't need to give them the opportunity to, to claw back into the round or to just frag you and take your positioning. All right. Offense, interested to see if you... Uh, if you do a little bit more droning again losing the drone and prep phase that's three so out of your four attacking rounds you've lost three drones and prep phase that's not a good rate value your drones more and it's partially it's probably also because you don't drone a whole lot in game so you might not necessarily see the reason to to hold on to two drones but if you add that layer into your game you'll see a massive improvement man 
drone roam clear, drone roam clear, right? Take control of the map, take that positioning. It's gonna make your attack so much so much tighter. Even when you're by yourself, right? Just droning the portions of the map that you need to drone. Super Shorty is an absolute weapon. Such fast rotates, it's boss. Hey, bit, bit of droning here, a bit more droning. That's good. That's good. Again, now your drone's in classroom, pretty exposed, and you're nowhere near classroom. You're not going anywhere near classroom. You don't know if anyone's in big tower, so that's why I imagine you could have you could have done it. That's that's a meat jammer on that. It's not going to work. Okay, you're droning through to big tower now, but again, uh, you want to be you want to be careful. Like, where are you, right? Are you ready to act on that information? Because you're not even in game chat, remember? So you're not you're not. It's not like you're droning for someone else. You're not going to be calling out saying like, yeah, there's one here, there's one here. <clears throat> you're you're not in game chat, so it's, this is only information that you see. You're nowhere near ready to to actually act on that information. This is a vigil around. Vigil pays off. Again, you're droning the vigil, but you know, no one's there to receive that information. Get maybe you're trying to get the scan, but you haven't droned anywhere around where you are. Right? So you don't know what's on site, you don't know the positioning. This is the part that you should have droned, right? Not the part that you can't do anything about, which is the vigil off site. So not bad to have that information, but when you're not making call outs, it's pretty irrelevant. But no drone for site. Right? So you you, you definitely want to be droning site, dude. Hundred percent. The Kai must be off site. You're going for the plant. Smoking it up. Nicely done. Gridlock's really, really good for that. Hey, to to like in that uh, planting situation. So much utility that just assists getting a plant down. Fun fact, I don't own Gridlock. <laughs> don't like her. I need to need to though. Nah, but one of the boys always plays her, so didn't have a chance. Yeah, it, no, not bad, man. Overall, um, not too bad. I think, I think. Thank you for watching and can you just tell me what I did wrong? No worries, bro. No worries. Well done. Like, like I was just gonna say, um, like there was nothing, nothing like crazy bad or anything like that. But to to round it up on your attacks, you know, you need to you need to do some work in your droning, bro, for sure. So you don't want to be droning, uh, throwing your prep phase um, drones away. I can see what I think what I said was right in terms of maybe the reason that you're not you're very likely to just throw the drone into sight and you know just do it whatever and get rid of it or get it killed is because you're not actually droning that much during the rounds. Um, and in that last round, you droned probably more more in that one round combined against the entire rest of the game you know that one round you did actually drone but you didn't drone the correct things right so you're droning for someone that you don't have communication with you don't have you're not talking you're not calling it out because you know you're in a party chat or whatever but you're droning something in big tower for a guy that can't hear your calls um and then once you got off that eventually because you're nowhere near close enough to, to act on it so you personally can't do anything about that information really um and then once you decided that you had enough of that for you know 30 seconds you ran onto site without droning the site right so you no idea it worked out in the end but like i keep saying um it won't work when you get to higher ranks so the higher up you move uh the more and more stuff like that will get punished right so little mistakes on defense you want to be very very careful about throwing your life away and over committing you don't have to you don't have to right so you, you you're much more valuable alive right and same thing goes for that one round where you peek the window um that cost you guys the round basically right it's not all your fault but you Opened up a big hole in the in the um, defense for for your for your entire team because you drop you went down an attic right you need to be staying alive there um, and just be a, let them feel your presence. There's no nothing wrong with peeking out, taking a few shots and stuff, right? That's gonna that's gonna deter them from coming attic um, and then you've done your job, but you just over over peeked. You just completely left yourself exposed to the window and you got punished and you end up losing the round. Same thing happened in the next round. Um, you, you played it a bit better. But same thing happened in the next round. Um, you didn't get punished for it at that point, um, but that is what it is. Same thing. You could have it could have easily been downhill from there, and you might have lost the map, right? Um, 
yeah, so and and even even in that that round where it was a four v two, and even when it got down to that two v two situation or the three v two situation, you were still running around so much. Like there was just you don't need to, bro. Like just take take a breath and uh, relax. You know, like kind of you don't have to just overexpose yourself to, to to the angles. Don't give them an opportunity to kill you. Just hold a tight angle, um, you know, and and wait. Play the sound cue. Play the time down. They have to make the move. You don't have to give them the kill. Right. It, again, that worked out for you. Um, but as you move up, you'll you'll find yourself getting punished and more and more and more for that. And it's probably these are probably things that are stopping you from consistently winning. Right, winning on a consistent basis um, to take you to that plat uh, two level or plat one or diamond and above. Right. Um, you need to add these things into your to your game to get to that point. Um, another another quick thing to to mention is um, cross air placement. I spoke about it a few times during the um during the video, but just. Be, be aware of where your crosshair is, right? Even on console, it is what it is. Be aware of where your console is. Don't look at the floor when you're, when you're ADS'd. Um, and I know that's not what your eyes are looking at. Your eyes are looking, you're looking dead ahead, but it's just, I think it's just a console thing. Like you're just staring at the floor. So if someone is to come out and peek you, um, you are just not prepared, not prepared whatsoever, right? You're just looking at the floor. Um, so be aware of that crosshair placement. Um, but they're, they're the things. If you add a bit of, a bit more droning, um, be more care about your life more um, on on defense. Value your life more. And don't overcommit. Um, and watch your crosshair placement. I think you'll have you you you'll be able to um, to rank up. Platinum's probably not as strong as obviously platinum on PC. Um, and I think yeah, I think you'll be fine. You obviously know what you're doing in sense of um, like you've played the game for a while. Like that that gridlock stuff um, on on plant situations. Like that's good. That's a, that's a good um, thing to have. Uh, but you just need to add that droning aspect, uh, the crosshair placement, um, and not throwing your life away, bro. And, and you, you'll be able to rank up in no time. So um, thanks for sending in the footage, my man. Hopefully you find some of the tips helpful. And um, and yeah, that's 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 really it, guys. Remember, if you want to be featured on this series, what you need to do is you need to like this video, you need to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and submit your link uh, to the YouTube video via this form in the description, okay? Um, but without wasting any more of your time, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.